When you look around Sonoma County, California, a lot of the infrastructure you see is built on a foundation from Canyon Rock Quarry. Its rock, concrete mixes, and sand are in roads, rail beds, and airstrips, found in stores, parks, and schools. And while the family-operated, community-minded company has been around for decades, it constantly reinvents itself. We're one of the first companies in the area to go full-blown into recycled concrete and asphalt. We're kind of always at the forefront, and we're constantly trying to upgrade everything we can, including our plant. As Riverside gravel mills started to decline, Canyon Rock chose to help fill that void but would need an upgrade to help meet demand for concrete material. About 18 months ago, Canyon Rock came to us and said that they had a, a large plant renovation that they wanted to do. Considering the, the scope and magnitude of the, the motors and coordination throughout the, the plants that we were talking about, we knew that the traditional relay logic approach was a, a non-starter. So that started us down the path of the discussion of adopting automation at this facility. The team at Canyon Rock chose Siemens TIA portal engineering software to help make it happen. The ultimate discounting factor was, was cost and speed. The PLC solution was more competitive and also from a labor point of view, the TIA portal package allowed us to, to meet the overall project schedules. By using the Siemens components, not only at the PLC level, but also motor starters and motor protection, that allowed us to produce a, a very complete package in a very short amount of time, both on the programming and the electrical design side. All motor circuits are communicated and controlled by the PLCs over Profinet. Instead of having a traditional motor starter with a dozen wires, we have one communication cable to that motor starter and protector. It allows the troubleshooting to be done much quicker, much faster. The other th nice thing about uh, using TIA portal we had a, a large number of options for integrating separate controllers, whether that was communications or remote I.O. or adding a very small PLC and then adding that to a Profinet network. We had all those options at our disposal. We have a HMI setup that controls the entire plant. I mean, we're monitoring motor loads and bin levels, crusher levels, so we optimize the plant. Around the same time, Canyon Rock won a major contract which meant the modernization would need to be completed without any downtime. Our plant was so small, our tonnages had picked up where there was no way we could have any downtime whatsoever. I mean, the rock was sold before it hit the ground. Really for us, the minimization of downtime is due to a, a solid, cohesive design that's easy to troubleshoot. The very first project, we decided to come up with a standard programming libraries for each of the sections of the plant that would be repeated. Uh, same thing on the electrical side. While the overall time for the first project was X, well, by the time we were into the second project, it was half, to ultimately at the very last project, we were able to do the design, build, and installation within four weeks. The modernization began in early 2013 and is expected to be complete in early 2015 but Canyon Rock is already seeing some impressive results. By the time the project is, is all done, we, sh we should go from 4,000 ton a day to about 10,000 ton a day. We're a small company that produces like a large one. I mean, we can put out a lot of material in a short amount of time, and we can meet market demands. As the market shifts, I mean, we can adapt to it with this new plant. When you drive into the plant, it's, it's immediately visible, the, the amount of turnover, the amount of throughput that's going through the plant. I didn't see that before. I mean, there were piles of material, but not constantly shifting like they have been in the last couple of months. It's one of the rewarding experiences where you can actually see that there is a, a marked change in throughput that's uh, directly attributable to automation.